Here is a quadratic equation in standard form. We're going to convert it to vertex form. To do this, we must complete the square. So identify b, which in this case is negative 8, and then what we'll do is add b over 2 squared, and then so that we're not changing anything, we will also have to subtract b over 2 squared. Since b is negative 8, b over 2 is negative 4, and so b over 2 squared is positive 16. Hence, we add 16 and subtract 16. This allows us to complete the square without having actually changed the value. Then, to write this as a square, we just write it as x plus b over 2, and b over 2 in this case is negative 4, squared. And then we still have this outside of the parentheses, minus 36 minus 16 is minus 52. So again, we added 16 to create that perfect square trinomial, and then factored it, and then we just still have these constants outside. And that's it. This is vertex form. So directly from this equation, we can identify the vertex is 4, negative 52. Here's an example to try on your own. Try writing this in vertex form. I'll put the solution on screen now. In this case, b is 10, so b over 2 squared is 5 squared, so we add 25 and subtract 25. Then we can write that perfect square trinomial as x plus 5 squared. Then we still have minus 32 outside, and that is the vertex form equation, which tells us the vertex very nicely. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Algebra 2 course and Algebra 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.